Today we are going to see the operation of a step up chopper. Uh, we will see how the step up chopper works, its configuration, and includes both power circuitry as well as the control circuitry. Let's start. First of all, I will introduce the kit. You can see this is the step up chopper configuration, the power circuitry in which we are feeding this 24 volt DC supply to this step up chopper and then depending upon the DVT cycle we can in, uh, increase the voltage beyond 24 this is the inductor and the switching element which we are using in this is the silicon controlled rectifier SCR switch this is the diode these are the load terminals and this is the capacitor right and this is the 24 volt supply which, will, which we will be feeding to this step up chopper right this is the power circuitry and this is more important the firing circuit which, which we are using to trigger the silicon control rectifier switch is here right which is actually having first you can see we are having a square wave generator then after that it's followed by this integrator so when we integrate a square wave we will get a short tooth wave or you can see the ramp right then after that you can see the ramp uh, output from this integrator and this reference signal V reference they are being compared by a comparator so depending upon the value of this V reference and comparator where its ramp is higher than the reference value accordingly your firing pulse of the square wave is generated the pulse is generated at this terminal first so first I will show this firing circuit this is very important so for that what I will I will switch on this kit so let's first uh, see the firing circuit how it works see first we will have a square wave you can see at the output of this square wave generator I will decrease the frequency right. so this is my square wave then after that you can see the square wave is fed to this integrator when we integrate a square wave we will get a short tooth wave you can see this is my short tooth wave right I will shift its position so I can increase or decrease its frequency right. after that I am having this reference signal you can see by using this PWM knob switch I can increase or decrease the value of this PWM switch right I can increase or decrease the value of this reference signal and depending upon its value accordingly my gate pulse is generated so for that I will connect these two simultaneously you can see now you can see the square wave after getting integrated we are getting this sort of wave or ramp wave also we are having this reference signal right so what we can do we can either uh, uh, shift this reference signal in upward position or downward position you can see using this PWM knob you can see now they, these both signals are going into the comparator circuit what this comparator actually does it compares the signal via the value of you can see if we if, if I am kept keeping this reference signal at this point, then you can see if we are analyzing this point, you can see here the value of short tooth wave is higher than the V reference in this point. So during this period, we can get a high pulse. And when it reaches to this position, you can see the value of short tooth wave is below the reference signal. We will get a zero pulse. So we will get a positive pulse in this period, in this period, in this period, in this period. So accordingly. We will get a pulse you can see also interesting here if i if i'm shifting this pulse to here you'll get you will see that on period will be uh, very uh, small as compared to the off period you can see now the ref uh, sort of wave has a smaller value in a larger period of time and it has higher value uh, as compared to the reference value for a small period of time so depending upon the value of this pwm i'm shifting my switching will be affected accordingly my pulse will be accordingly my pulse, pulse will change its switching frequency and the same will be seen by connecting this and connecting this pulse you can see the pulse you can see my pulse which I will be feeding to this switching device is here yeah. you can see depending upon the value of PWM you can see the reference I am changing and then accordingly you can see the on period and off period of the pulse or you can see changing accordingly right and the same pulse will be fed to the switching circuit SCR so let's start to design its power circuitry so what we will first will do we will bring this 24 volt from this you can see my 24 will go to the positive here after that 
my round terminal will go to the mines terminal but that we have an adapter it's internally connected after that we have the CR it's anode and cathode are already connected in the circuit what I will do I will fed this gate terminal by this firing pulse right after that what I will do I will connect load and I have two loads I have resistive load and RN load and I will be analyzing the analysis on purely resistive load I will be connecting a resistive load and I will be seeing the output across this resistive load in the DSO how it changes with the change in the duty cycle so what I will do I will connect DSO across it it's my ground terminal this is my positive terminal for a given so you can see the voltage across this resistive load the waveform is this and you can see by measurements the input voltage which we are feeding is 24 volts and the same is reflected by them now you can see using changing this PWM we can increase the voltage you can see as I'm increasing you can see the values you can see it goes 25 20. right now well, I have not changed the PWM value the reference value now I will change the reference value I will change the reference value you can see as I'm increasing the PWM you can see the voltage is getting boosted and its value is going on increasing depending upon the duty cycle you can see okay thank you